video is going to talk about how to find the arc length of a circular arc. First thing we have to realize is that we're given some radius by some angle. We're trying to find the S arc length. That is off a circle. All right? That is part of a circle. So instead of developing a formula that you can't remember, we're going to talk about problems we can understand and then figure out how to do it in the future. So if I say find the arc length S in the following case for theta equals pi radius. We know that pi radian, for those of you who don't know radians, pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. So we know that this case has radians of pi, but we can also write this as a portion of 180 degrees. Well, we know how to answer this pretty quickly just using our logic. We know the distance all the way around the circle is called circumference. We know that's equal to 2 pi r, or pi d. We know we had a radius of 3, so this time we would agree the diameter is 6 inches. So the circumference of the entire circle is 6 pi inches. Well, it's obvious that we only have half of the circle. So it's pretty easy to take half of 6 pi. In this case, s is going to be, the arc length here will be 3 pi. The real question is, is how do we tie that is something that makes sense when it's not so obvious. What you have to pick up here is you know it was half because it's 180 degrees out of how many? Well, a circle always has 360. It's always proportional. In this case, you have to catch that the degrees are proportional to the arc length and the circumference. Anytime you're asked to do this, you can quickly set up a ratio. So if I have another problem, and we have a circle, so often they show the circle. Let's make the radius of this circle 5 inches. And let's find the arc length for 210 degrees. Okay, we know it's over half. All right, we know it's over half. Now, in terms of radians, if we were thinking about what this is, we could figure that out too. But we'll skip that. In this case, we know we have 210 degrees out of 360 degrees. We know that this here is the arc length, which I have called S. So I'll put a stripe through it. That's a, that matches the 210 degrees. What arc length matches 360? The whole way around is the circumference. So again, 2 pi r, or pi d, is the circumference. Well, I'll use 2 pi r since it's giving us a radius. 2 pi times 5 inches. All right. And once we have the, ratio, the two ratios set in a proportion, we can cross, multiply, and divide. I'll, get, I'll simplify 2136 s over 10 pi inches. Actually, those are both divisible by 3. I get 712 equals s over 10 pi inches. Cross multiply, I get 12s equals 7 times 10 pi inches. Divide both sides by 12. And I, I like to leave this in terms of 5. I see that 12 and 10 both have a common. So I'll say the arc length in this case is 35 6 pi inches. And I just found the arc length of this circle. Now, if you're looking for a general equation, if you can develop it by using this situation here. We are looking for an angle out of the possible, and I'll do it in blue, 360 degrees. So your ratio is always theta over 360 part over total. In this case, the part is S. The total, again, if I do it in blue, and maybe I should do theta here in red. The total this time, again, all the way around, is comfort equals 2 pi r. I'll set it up on that. So, that is equivalent. That goes with 360. All right. 
How do you solve for S? Well, instead of cross multiplying, you see S is already on top. So I multiply both sides by 2 pi r. So I get an equation beta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r equals the arc length S. That does work every time. But if you look at it, it is a ratio. When it was half, it was 1 8, it was half, it was 1 8 over 360. You can kind of picture that times the circumference. It is always a ratio of the circumference. And this is how we find arc length. Now I'm going to put a couple of examples up. All right, and if you pause the video, you can work these out yourself. Again, I'm going to do it as a ratio. And again, if you're not used to radians, first thing we do is put 180 degrees in for pi. Three, 180 divided by 2 is 90. 90 times 3. We have 270 degrees. And I want the matching arc length here. I'm going to call that arc length again S. And again, I'm going to set up ratio. It's always a part of the angle of the total. 270 over 360. That ratio is equivalent to the ratio of the arcs, which is part arc, which is the arc length S, over the total arc, which is the circumference. Again, if the radius is 4, diameter is 8, so I'll write this as 8 high centimeters. And again, I can simply multiply both sides by 8 high centimeters. Knowing 270 over 360 reduces to 3 fourths times 8 pi centimeters. I'm going to find the arc length for the top problem is 6 pi centimeters. The next one in red, I'll grab my pen. Again, find the arc length here for an angle of 60 degrees where the radius is shown as 2. Again, I'll do it as parts. 60 degrees is the part out of 360 degrees total is equal to, and I'll call a question mark, so that's what it's called, over 2 pi r, all right, well, this diameter is 4, so how about 4 pi inches? Again, I'll multiply both sides by 4 pi. 60 over 360 reduces to 160 degrees cancel, multiplied by 4 pi inches. You notice the units work out. Again, this reduces to 2 thirds pi inches, and that would be the arc length that has a 60 degree central angle. Always works as proportions. You calculate the ratio of the angles and make it equal to the ratio of the arcs.